What's up everybody, and welcome to the video here on CR95 Games. Today, I'm showing you an, some more builds for another awesome weapon. This time, we're looking at the Tiger's Prime. One of the most used weapons in this game, easily. For a lot of people, a lot of people, thousands of players, tens of thousands of players, this is their go-to weapon. Their default weapon. Whenever they don't know what they're going to use or is something that's extremely high level, this is what most of those people pull out. And for good reason. It does insane damage and it has unbelievable status. But, without further ado, let's go look at the builds and then see what it can do. So the first build we're looking at is a Grenier Infested build. You can see I have one polarity that is red and that is because I added two V polarities without changing this dash polarity which the Tiger's Prime will start with one V and one dash. You could probably get away by just turning this dash polarity into a V polarity and then it will only take you one formula to do this. I'm assuming it might still take you two, but whatever the case, you're better off just changing this dash polarity into a V polarity, unless you have a ribbon, like I do, which my ribbon is crap right now, I need some rolls. Anyway, let's look at this build. We have Prime Point Blank for damage, Hell's Chamber for multi-shot, Vicious Spread for more damage and more spread, and we have Toxic Barrage for Toxic Status Chance, Cell Shot for Electricity Status Chance, Scattering Inferno for Heat Status Chance, Rigid Blast for Cold Status Chance because shotguns are almost useless without 100% status chance, so you're going to want to have all four of these mods no matter what. And we have Seeking Fury to give us 15% reload speed and 1.2 punch through. The punch through is amazing on this weapon, but the reload speed is extremely helpful because we only have two shots before we have to reload. The reload isn't long, but it's not super, super fast either. So, this is pretty helpful. Anyway, let's go take a look at what this can do. I forgot to mention that with this Grenier Infested build, we are using Corrosive and Blast. And now we're going to face off against two level 155 Heavy Gunners. And you're going to see that the status on this weapon is just unbelievable. Particularly, whenever we're going up against these Heavy Gunners, the Grenier, the Corrosive, we have over 14,000 Corrosive on this weapon and it is just going to eat away that level 155 armor like nothing so anyway let's go ahead and do it like nothing just put two shots in him and walk away awesome massive damage weapon Let's see what it does to the infested. Here we are again, same Grenier infested build, corrosive blast. Two level 155 ancient healers. Let's go. So yeah, they don't stand much chance at all. And now that we've done that, let's go look at the next build. Now we're looking at the Corpus build, which is the same as the Grenier Infested, except we moved around the Elemental mods so that we could switch out Blast and Corrosive for Gas and Magnetic. So we're still running with Prime Point Blank, Hell's Chamber, Vicious Spread, Seek, er, Scouring Inferno, Toxic Barrage, Shell Shock, and Frigid Blast. So if you want to change your elements from Blast and Corrosive to Gas and Magnetic, all you do is switch them around until you find what you're looking for so that just switch to viral radiation switch that around still viral radiation and there we are at blasting corrosive now switch them around again we're back at gas and magnetic so let's go see what this is going to do to the corpus here we are with our corpus build gas and magnetic damage against two level 155 corpus tech Still, not much at all. This is just a dominating weapon with insane damage, and it's just great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final build. 
So the final build we're looking at here is basically the same thing again, except we switched out our shred mod for silent battery. Or, not shred, Seeking Fury, sorry. Seeking Fury, which gave us reload speed and 1.2 punch through. We've now switched out for silent battery so that our gunfire is completely silent. And the reason that I have this build is for whenever I'd use, say, Ivara on a level 3 or sortie 3 spy, so the enemies are level 100. And I want to stay invisible, so I'm going to go in there. And if it's one of those times I don't want to take my time or we'll go slow about it, I'll just run in with Ivara and be invisible with my Silent Tigers Prime and just blow them away in one shot. Move on to the terminal. And it doesn't take me out of my invisibility or out of my prowl because my weapon doesn't make any sound. So, what we're running with on this one, Prime Point Blank again, Vicious Spread, and then we have Hell's Chamber again, Toxic Barrage, Shell Shock, Scary Inferno, Frigid Blast, and then like I said, Silent Battery. So depending on if you're fighting Grenier Infested or Corpus in that spy mission or whatever the case may be where you're using a silenced weapon, like before, just change up your element to whichever one you need. Blast and Corrosive for your Grenier Infested, Gas and Magnetic for your Corpus, and just have fun. Shoot them and watch them fly away. Watch that status eat them away. Just good fun stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this helped you out. I hope I hope you got your Tigris Pine build now. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Move and strike. We have to win this. We fought with honor.
broken. Well done. Now get to extraction.